let's take a closer look at twig blocks. If you remember from our last video, twig blocks can be used in extends and embeds. When you use a twig, embed, or an extend, you inherit everything from the component you are calling, except the section that you override with a block. The block in the original component is really more of a placeholder, and if you don't override it, you'll still in inherit it from the original component. So let's look at this in the code. Here we have a block around our favorites toggle component. And you may be thinking, why would we want to add twig blocks here, but not everywhere? If you see a twig block, it means we can replace this content later if we decide to embed or extend this component anywhere. Well, let's look at an example of this um, featured movie component embedded somewhere. And I'll show you the actual integration template for Drupal. Here, we are embedding the featured moving component, but we are using a block to override the favorites toggle section. This looks exactly like the same thing at first, but here we are taking our placeholder block and replacing it with content from Drupal. And by the way, we can name our block whatever we want, so long as it has the same name as in the original component as it does when it's called here. So just for fun, let's see what happens when we change what's in a block. See how everything else in the featured movie component stays the same, but the items I placed in the block replaces the favorites toggle? And see how the favorites toggle is not there anymore? This is how twig blocks can be used to replace content while keeping the majority of a component's uh, markup, and, markup and styles the same.